Graphite and colored pencil illustrations have a distinctive, soft charm that makes them a favorite choice of book illustrators, especially for children's books. With Clip Studio Paint, you can blend the cozy warmth of traditional pencil art with the flexibility and efficiency of digital tools. This tutorial will guide you through the process of creating pencil-style illustrations in CSP, from brush settings to texture tricks and post-processing. Whether you're starting from scratch or converting an existing piece, here's how to achieve that classic pencil feel. The three keys to natural pencil aesthetics. I doubt graphite and colored pencils need any introduction, but what exactly gives pencil art the charming look? There are three essential elements. Paper texture. A paper texture immediately grounds your illustration and unifies all the elements with a natural look. Use one of CSP's built-in textures, scan your favorite paper, or download textures from the Clip Studio assets. Place your paper texture above all other layers. Set the layer blending mode to multiply or linear burn. Linear burn boosts the saturation slightly more, which is helpful for colored pencil work. If you're using a tiled texture, right-click the layer, choose Convert Layer and change the type to Image Material Layer. In the Tool Property Palette, enable Tiling. Adjust its scale and opacity for a natural appearance. If seams are visible, rasterize the layer and fix them with the copy stamp tool or check my tutorial on making seamless textures pencil like brushes to replicate real pencil strokes your brush needs to capture a few key qualities a grainy texture gradual buildup with repeated strokes variable stroke width depending on pressure and angle a bit of blending just like in real media clip studio paint comes with several default brushes that emulate traditional tools and many more are available for download. I've also created a free brush pack that closely mirrors the Koinor Heartmuth colored pencils I used before going digital. Brush setting tips. To fine tune or create your own pencil like brush, open the sub tool detail palette and check these sections. Texture tab. Use a rough texture, I use a blend of loop carpet and paper. Set texture mode to multiply or subtract. Enable Emphasize Density and Apply by each plot for a natural grainy buildup. Brush Tip Tab. A triangular brush tip helps you break away from the typical digital trait of round brushes. Link Brush Thickness to Tilt. Thin lines for when the pen is held upright and wide strokes for low angle, much like when shading with a real pencil. Set Angle to Pen Tilt for better control. Color Jitter Tab. A touch of random hue variation gives colored pencil strokes a more organic feel. Ink tab. While blending is more often connected to watercolor and oil, real pencils blend subtly too. Set amount and density of paint to pressure for gentle blending. Set the mixing mode to perceptual and brightness correction to off for the most traditional looking blending. Randomness. Add slight randomness in angle and brush size to avoid sterile strokes. The Digital Eraser Myth. In Clip Studio Paint, you don't need a separate tool to erase. Just switch to the transparent color with the C key instead. Erasing with the same texture and stroke style preserves the hand-drawn feel. Soft, natural colors. Real graphite isn't black. Use gray with subtle tints like cool blues, muted purples, or warm browns for a more authentic tone. Real colored pencils are bright but not oversaturated. Use the upper part of the color square. If you want to be accurate, color pick from real pencil photos or find downloadable pencil swatches. Clip Studio Paint Tricks for Efficient Workflow. Sketching and line work. Consider using vector layers. They're easily editable and the lines and textures don't degrade with transformations. The pinch tool is excellent for fast corrections. Shading. In traditional pencil drawings, shading is typically created through hatching, using lines drawn mostly with a flat-held pencil. These lines can follow the form for a realistic look or take the shape of simple diagonals for a more stylized effect. Cross-hatching, which involves layering lines at different angles, adds depth and texture, while more artistic forms of hatching can include dots, circles, short strokes, and other varied marks. Although drawing all of these by hand can be relaxing, it's also time-consuming. Thankfully, Clip Studio Paint provides faster alternatives that can help you achieve the same results with greater efficiency. Quick tip. To smooth out texture while shading. 
switch to the transparent color and lightly erase using the same brush. Then, switch back to your drawing color and gently reapply the strokes. You can repeat this process as needed to achieve a more polished look. Just be careful not to overdo it. If the texture becomes too blurred, it can start to look digital and lose that natural, grainy pencil feel. Hatching brushes. Use special hatching brushes to quickly fill and shade large areas. These are the brushes from my pack, but many options are available on the assets store. If they come without texture, add it in sub-tool detail, texture. Selections and layer masks. To shade complex areas cleanly, use lasso fill tool or a hard brush to block out shaded areas on a new layer, like cell shading. Control click the layer icon to create a selection from it. Create a new layer and click the masking button. The selection will become the new layer's mask. Click on the layer's icon to exit the mask. Hide or delete the previous cell shaded layer. Now draw on the new layer with your hatching brush. The mask keeps your shading neatly contained. Make the shadows darkest along their border with light and gradually fade them away for a light, airy feel. If the mask's edges are too smooth, manually fix the most glaring parts with a pencil brush or use filter effect crystallize on the mask for more irregular edges extra coloring tips like in traditional colored pencil drawing layer strokes to gradually build up colors don't use just one color blend in different colors to create gradients add lines of yellow orange or red along the edges of shapes for a more colorful atmosphere convert an illustration into a pencil drawing already have a finished digital drawing you can give it a pencil look by applying Clip Studio Paint's pencil drawing filter on a merged layer. If your file has separate line art and shading layers, try this slightly more natural looking technique. Converting line art. If your line art is on a raster layer, go to layer, convert layer and change type to vector layer. Select your favorite pencil brush and open the sub-tool detail palette. In the brush shape tab, click add to presets. Switch to the Object tool. In the Brush Shape tab select the newly added brush and click Apply Brush Shape. Change the brush size or use the correct line width tools to add variety to your strokes. Converting Shading and Color. Switch to the Shading or Color layer. Go to Filter, Effect, Pencil Drawing. Uncheck Show Outline, check Show Hatching. Set the size, roughness and angle to your liking. For extra depth, run the filter a second time with slightly different settings. Add extra grain. Duplicate the paper texture. Set it to max opacity. Go to Edit, Tonal Correction, Level Correction, and click Auto Adjust. Go to Edit, Convert Brightness to Opacity. Control click the paper layer icon to make a selection of it. Switch to the filtered color layer and click the Create Mask button. If it's still not grainy enough, use the Edit, Tonal Correction, Tone Curve, on the mask. Shape the curve into S to bring out the max contrast. Post-processing. Color Boost. Use a large soft brush on a layer set to Overlay or Glow Dodge to subtly enhance colors. Enhancing Contrast. Use Tonal Correction layers like Tone Curve or Levels to tweak contrast. If there's still not enough contrast because you've layered the strokes too softly, Try duplicating all the pencil work layers. If the drawing is on a white background layer, duplicate the layer, set it to exclusion, invert colors with Ctrl I, and lower opacity. Use tone curve to recover darks and balance the image. Color variations. Want that warm, natural color shift traditional media have? Try these optional effects and experiment with combining them. They're great for both graphite and colored pencil artworks. Solid color layers. Fill a new layer atop all others with light brown and set it to overlay or soft light. Lower the opacity for subtle tinting. Gradient maps. Apply a gradient map layer on overlay, soft light, or even color mode. Lower opacity for subtle variation. Color balance. Use a color balance layer to tint shadows and highlights to different tones. This can make a graphite drawing more natural and dynamic or add atmosphere to colored pieces. Conclusion. Creating pencil-style illustrations in Clip Studio Paint isn't about mimicking every trait of traditional media. It's about capturing the warmth, softness, and charm that make sketchbooks so beloved. With the right textures, carefully set brushes, 
and a few smart features, you can make your digital drawings look as warm and inviting as traditional ones, while enjoying the benefits of digital speed and flexibility.